By 1802, the British East India Company controlled large swaths of the Indian subcontinent. The company felt that greater effort should be made to understand the resources at their disposal, and so a great mapping survey was begun. The suggestion of Lieutenant Colonel William Lambden, the Great Trigonometrical Survey of India, as it was called, aimed to map the entire Indian subcontinent with scientific precision. As the Royal Society explains, the survey provided knowledge, enabled control, and enhanced the East India Company's reputation, which legitimized colonial rule. The act of measuring, quantifying, and naming lands is a declaration of ownership. The survey relied on trigonometry to measure distances based on known positions and angles. The survey engineers measured India with a chain exactly 100 feet long, which they continually moved across hills, rivers, forests, and any other obstacle. The starting baseline was drawn from the Madras race course to the flagpole on the Madras beach. The survey began on April 10, 1802, and was expected to take about five years to complete. In fact, the survey, which at some points included 700 men, was so large and expansive that it took 70 years to complete, outliving British East India Company rule.